Welcome again to another edition of the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. Again, my name is Hobo Tom. That in the background is Chispa sauntering around. My girlfriend, who is absently coming in as at her job. Again, I kind of have my little at-home job. I do this because I enjoy wrestling. So today's going to be a little quick card, a um, couple very quick programming notes. Tomorrow I'm going to put up the, my predictions, hopefully my girlfriend's predictions as well, about backlash that's happening on Sunday. I do have my ticket to go to the NXT house show here in Daytona Beach. Yes, yes, yes. So also on Saturday, I'll post that up. Again, with my reviews of the matches, given my ranking system, and hopefully I'll have something including across here eventually one day, or maybe over here. But to get to the real part of the show, again, please like and subscribe. Send a comment and email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. Um, one other note, I think Southern Pro Lucha Libre is coming, been delayed a little bit. So it's probably coming in June. There's also a local show I might try and get to. Again, depending on prices, I've heard some mixed reviews about it. So hopefully I'll put that up. A little bit more content for you, you hard working and watching YouTube viewers. So let's get to the card. Let's get to the wrestling, WWE, both Raw and SmackDown. Number one thing I have to say, I have to give props, even though I dislike them to the Canadian crowd, or really any European crowd, there's always just amazing chants. And they just keep on going forever. And I know I'm going to look a little bit awkward because I'm trying to do two things at once. Because, again, YouTube has not monetized me yet. Hoping for that soon. So I'm kind of doing my little at-home work while I do this. So I might change my body position a little bit. But let's get to the shows. Raw. Roman gets booed. Gets the bejesus boot out of him. I don't know what it is. He just came out and the whole Canada's people, Canadians, just boo. Not even cheer. Joe, however, gets the huge pops. Joe, 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 Joe. Joe just fronts down Roman. Roman kind of cries, well, I should have won. Runs down Joe. He even generally comes out. Run, runs down Roman Reigns. Sam Zane, Sammy Zane. Second biggest pop of the night. And that's only because the first biggest pop went to Kevin Owens. And the Indian crowd just went nuts. Again, the three of those, gender, although being built from India, Sammy Zane and Kevin Owens are all from Canada. So again, even gender got a bigger pop. Joe just kind of like let things happen. It's cool. Uh, eventually, Gender, Sammy, and Kevin start beating on Roman Reigns. Bobby Lashley comes in, probably to save Roman and give Roman Reigns a little bit bigger rub, I guess. Then Brian comes down just with everyone. Again, good opening part. First match, a good cheeseburger match. Elias versus Rude. Great. It was, it was a good it was a good match. It wasn't anything great. It was a cheeseburger. Again, it's really hard to screw up a cheeseburger. Especially for a cookie. If you screw up a cheeseburger, you don't deserve to. And it's just one of those nice matches, kind of like a styles match. You have power versus finesse, a real power wrestler. And Elias versus more of a finesse and technical wrestler in Bobby Roode. It was good. It was a cheeseburger match. We have Elias one too with like a, a sneaky roll up. What did Rude do with a sneaky roll up? I forget. It was a couple days ago. I've been really bad. This do do apologize for that. Been busy at one job, busy at the other job, and checking in on the other job. When YouTube decides to pay me, then we'll get more regular. So that leads to. Kind of a cheeseburger squash match. 
with a, a authors of pain versus some local enhancement talent, some jobbers. I got it was what it was. It's a, it's a jobber match, squash match. It was a ham sandwich. It was a pain. I don't know what what they're gonna do now. They're just gonna take on jobbers for a while, maybe. Who knows? And ham sandwich. Authors of pain versus jobbers. This is what you expect. Rollins came out, Canadian crowd again, huge pops. I have to I have to give those crowds real props because they're a lot better than some US crowds, except if you're in Chicago or Philadelphia. Those two places. Ooh. Yeah, in Chicago the CM Punk. So you just get the CM Punk chance and Philadelphia is just the house of hardcore from ECW. The Rollins came out, again, good prop. He even tried to give Reigns a rub. Then the Miz Taraj came in. Balor came in. The only thing is that that's probably appropriate. I know some YouTube commenters always say, oh, the what chance old. When the Miz is there trying to run down both of them, when the Miz Taraj is there trying to run down both of them, then it's okay to what them. Especially if, especially, and I think Axel and Bo Dallas have been around long enough to realize if they do a certain cadence, they're going to get whatted. So, you say, what? And then you speak for a little bit. What? That's what you should expect. And just kind of lets it beat down. Finn then, after both he and Rollins kind of stood tall, said, not being nice anymore. So yeah, it was, it was, it was a good promo. Then you had a, a well, I thought it was a really good mass match with Ruby Riot versus Sasha Banks. Again, cheeseburger match. There was nothing really wrong with Raw. Just like a good wrestling show. As a go home show, it's like has me confused about what they're doing in Backlash. And Backlash is really odd. Seems to be more SmackDown related. But we'll get into that in the next episode. Yeah, a good match, good back and forth. The rest of the Riot Squad got involved. For the life of me, I cannot figure out what Sarah Logan says. I think she's very articulate. I know she was as crazy Mary Dobson. She did have that little crazy cuckoo thing going. So she did sound weird. Again, that was in character now with her Kentuckyish. Louisiana, wherever she's supposed to be from. It's like, I have no idea what she's saying. I don't think the ref did either. Again, that allowed Liv Morgan to pull Ruby Riot out of bank statement and some more interference. And Ruby Riot won, which is good, which is what she needs. It would be nice to see her get a run at least, or at least a shot at it. Then you have Titus. Worldwide. Major props to him. Oh, the previous match was a cheeseburger match. Uh, it was okay. Again, hard to screw that. Hard, hard for those to really screw something up. But Titus Worldwide. Very self-deprecating. Very humble. He just seems like a nice guy. Because, again, he did address his little slide underneath the ring at the Greatest Royal Rumble. And just really seemed to enjoy it. He's like, hey, I screwed up. It happens. Baron Corbin came out trying to run him down. Baron Corbin kind of talks to him, confusing again, like that Kentuckyish Sarah Logan. Very hard to understand sometimes. He had a Wyatt, a Prey Wyatt, and Matt Hardy promo, and they those two just cracked me up because their vests have been in every major history historical thing, and they showed him like really bad Photoshop of the two of them with George Washington Moon. Somewhere else. It was just funny. Yeah, it makes me laugh and chuckle. Alexa Bliss also had a little promo and a funny statement about being too small for the teacup ride at Disney World. Again, kind of run, running down Nia Jax. Again, it was... There weren't that many promos. It didn't feel like a go-home show. They really let the, the matches breathe. It just seemed like a normal show. Again, just not go home for a pay-per-view. It was an okay show, again. Overall, probably a cheeseburger show. 
Then you had a six-man tag between Gender, Mahal, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn versus Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, and Bobby Lashley. Again, this crowd was loud. You could hear, ole, 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 ole. Throughout almost the entire match, it was awesome. Except for the part when they booed the living bejesus out of Romans and just started to chant, get these hands when... When Braun shows up, the only reason Braun's there is to give Roman Reigns a rub because he's getting booed everywhere. So again, this was again this was actually a really good, darn good match. It was a surf and surf match. I mean, the crowd kept on singing. There's so much energy, and you can really tell when there's when the crowd has energy. The wrestlers, if they even order decent wrestler, they will feed off that energy. And again, it was really good though. It was a fun match. A lot of stuff going on. Every wrestler really got their spots in. I mean, the Singh brother was there, and again, my opinion is that the Singh brothers just started to get tossed around. I mean, Braun tossed him just like out of the ring with like the way I would throw a bag of flour or a sack of potatoes. Well, again, really fun match. All the wrestlers got their spots in. Good spot at the end. Braun just runs around and just shoulder tackles everyone. <laughs> That's just runs all the way around the ring. Boom, boom, boom. That was, that was good. Again, that was a surf and surf match. That was that was really good. Then you have another ham sandwich match with Baron Corbin versus No Way Jose. Again, it was fun. it was what it was. Titus again, very self-deprecating, very humble. Kind of does the one spot where he has to kind of check to make sure he's not going to trip. Jumps over the little thing, little kind of gap area. Flips on the ring, distracts Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin's weakness is the roll up. I was a pro wrestler. The only thing I would do is roll him up all day long. Eventually, I would get a win. Pin him because he doesn't know how to get out of a roll out. Thought they taught that that wrestling school. That led to another really good match. That was a ham sandwich. It is what it was. It was fun. Made me smile. Nothing special, though. A good match, though, was Mickey James versus Natalia. Again, great technical wrestling between the two. Mickey James has been around for a while. Natalia has been around for a while. You, you give these time, and they will put together a surf and turf match. It's what, it, what, what, what it really was. I mean, eventually, Alexa Bliss tried to get involved. Ronda Rousey's darn quick. I'll tell you what, even in my prime as a rugby player, I don't think I was ever that quick. I could go, but not in circles like that. She's, she almost caught Alexa Bliss, and I think Alexa Bliss, had, I gotta run faster just to keep up. It's the old Peter principle. Oh no, that's the Alice. That's the White Rabbit. You have to run faster just to keep up. Is an evolution. I won't get into being a teacher, but we'll talk about that later. So again, really fun match. After a while, um, again, Ronda Rousey chased her out of the ring, and then all of a sudden, Dax chased her back. And I came in, kind of had a stare down with Ronda Rousey. Raised both their hands. A nice face rub. It was good. Then you had Drew McIntyre and Ziggler promo. Again, if I was Drew McIntyre, I would never wear a shirt either. I would wear just a suit. Go shirtless. Just say, yeah. Then we actually had a filet mignon pay-per-view level match for the Intercontinental Championship. Between Seth Rollins and Finn Bloor. My gosh, was it great. I should have had a pizza, a couple of beers, and just truly enjoyed myself. Because that was darn good. I mean, they could have put this on a pay-per-view. This could have sold out any house show. It was great. Just awesome match. 
catch its catch kind of wrestling, a lot of counter wrestling, a lot of false. Yeah, really a pay per view level match here on free TV. Blaming you on match. Again, overall, Raw, Raw was really good. Just didn't have that the home quality. So, SmackDown. And Paige comes out. Kind of addresses that the AJ versus Nakamura match at Backlash will be no DQ. We'll get more into that later. That led right into Miss TV, and that was good. That was, instead of having Shane McMahon come up and, and talk for 10 minutes, two minutes, just to say, this is what's going to happen because of the past events at the Greatest Royal Rumble. So, again, it was good. That's the way it should be. Then you had Miss TV. Again, the crowd just pops for him. He's a heel. He tries to round on. Oh, this is why I took Maurice to Hollywood. They're like, boo. And then he puts him there. Yay. Again, really good. Jeff Hardy comes out. Again, big pop. Start, tries to stir things up between him and, and Randall Orton. Brought the top 10 list. And Randy's like, what? Who cares about that? Garbage. And, that last, let, and then Shelton Benjamin comes on and says, hey, wait a second. I beat you. I should get a title shot. So, uh -uh. Time for a match. You have a tag team, Miz and Benjamin and Shelton Benjamin versus Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy. Again, the crowd kept on cheering. They were chanting forever. And it was really fun. He cats here. You want to say hi? You say hi? Say, oh, I guess not. Oh, well. He wants to run off. Probably wants to go outside and chase Lou. Again, really good chance. The ole, the ole, 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 ole. They just love that. They just like chanting. U.S. crowds don't like that for some reason. They'll chant every so often. Or U.S. crowds do like beach ball mania. Beach ball mania. And good, good back and forth. Randy Orton just has a tendency to like to break tables. He always puts someone through a table. And this time I think he tried to put the Miz through a table. And, again, it was a really good match. This is the cheeseburger match. This is, again, hard to really screw up. It leads to a possible feud between Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy after Backlash, because I don't think they're wrestling. Might be. Again, we'll get, we'll get to that tomorrow. A good match. Randy Orton hit the RKO. On Benjamin, I think. I know he hit the RKO on, on one of them. That led to a Jeff Hardy swanton. And this time he did get the, the the Willow of the Winds off correctly. And then when Hardy and Orton were standing tall, eh, 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 RKO out of nowhere on Jeff Hardy. Good. Peyton Royce. This leads to the next segment. Peyton Royce is the best talker female talker ever. Charlotte Flair is good. Becky Lynch is good. Bailey, eh. Sasha Banks, eh. Peyton Royce, number one! She just runs down Renee Young, makes fun of her Canadian heritage. <laughs> he says, that's from Minnesota. It's like, oh, it's the same. What was it said? Go chase a moose or something? Yeah. Just makes fun of Kanye. Yeah, go chase some moves. I was laughing. Again, you had another New Day New Day and Seamus and Cesaro segment. You introduce Mr. Bootyworth, who I guess is the pancake version of Miss Butterworth. Who knows? Again, it just sets up the match. It was what it was. It was good. It was a Rusev in English, English and Lana promo. Are they teasing no more Rusev Day? Ooh. Lana's going to get booed if she breaks up Rusev Day. Careful, WWE. People like their Rusev Day. Oh, and about days, happy Bullet Club Day to everyone. Yes. Bang, 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 bang. Hopefully, I know Pro Wrestling Tees are very quick plug for them. They have their Bullet Day shirts going on sale, I think, 20% off today. I do want to get the machine gun. Carl t-shirt, I hope. If not, I'll get the one Samoa shirt for my nephew. And teasing that. Then you had 
like a toast match between Big Cass and, and the wee person. I forget who his name was. He was dressed up like Daniel Bryan, just there to run Daniel Bryan out and say, oh, oh, oh you're short. This is what it was. Piece of toast. It was funny. It made me chuckle. Again, watching midget wrestling is kind of fun. Or whatever they call it nowadays. Little person wrestling. Yeah, and this this actually did feel like the go the go home show. AJ Styles came out. AJ Styles just looked like he's loving this right now. I mean, he's enjoying it so much. Joe interrupts AJ Styles. Here we go. The Hobo Prediction. Fatal three way WrestleMania thirty five. AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe. Versus Shinsuke Nakamura. My prediction, you heard it here first. That led to a backstage segment with Becky Lynch. She needed to zip up a little bit. She was showing a little too much. A little too much booby. Or at least between cleavage. That's good though. She's just cute though. I told my girlfriend that. Again, it was, it was what it was. Kind of blames herself for the loss last week. Asta comes out, does the Avengers thing, promote that. I don't know. That was kind of good. And that's set up for, I think, the main event. Oh no, before that, you have. You had Woods versus Sheamus. You know, it's good. Interference on both sides. Just really entertaining match. This was a cheeseburger match. This was really fun. Gonna go quicker now. Paige, you have Absolution. She's like, Paige is like, Absolution is absolved. Or however she said, Absolution is no more. You two have to earn, earn it. There's a match, I think, between Mandy Rose and Becky Lynch next week. That's just good. Just kind of breaks, ties up loose ends. It's, it's good. It, it is what it was. Then you had the six women tag team match Asuka, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair. Versus the Iconics and Carmella. And again, it was fun. This was a surf and surf match. For a change, it wasn't a bad six woman cluster match. I mean, it had story, it kind of interwove everything. It was good. I mean, every everyone got their spots off the Iconic duo, still the best talkers ever. Just just, just, just pay them. Bring, the, bring them back to NXT. I want to hear them talk more. Darn it. They're great. And cute. I've stopped saying that. One of these days, my girlfriend's going to wallop me or something. But she's not here. She's off doing work. It's just me. As long as my cat doesn't. So, again, this was a surf and surf match. Really good. The return of the Oscar. Law. Love it. Yeah, good match. Every wrestler at this spot. It was fun. It was what it should be. Carmella's a great talker. Peyton Royce is a great talker. Billy Kay's a great talker. The action was great. It was what it should have been. It was a good, it had purpose. At least it wasn't a thrown together six woman cluster match. Good show, SmackDown. This, and again, this actually did feel like a go home show. Again, program notes probably tomorrow. Backlash predictions Saturday or Sunday. Probably Saturday. Saturday night, so you'll see them Sunday. NXT Daytona Beach. Got my ticket. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Email at hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. I'll hopefully